So I we just got home actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I got a box from Fluid Art Company. Now, what's exciting about this box? There's a few things that are exciting. Oh, well, by the way, this is my first unboxing video. Mo has never been to an unboxing. Now listen to this. In this box, Lanny, uh, my then, friend who works at TLP, yes, she's TLP. at not TLP. Pluto. She was a food art company. Pluto. She has put a bunch of Amsterdam two paints in here. Damn. I don't know what colors they are, and she said that it's gonna push my envelope of color, and so that's gonna rock. Also, there's some new TLPs in here. So that. Just let me say something. I'm yes. so excited for this unboxing. Okay. And if you don't know Manny, she's a fluid out, one of the best fluid out employees. She is one of the best fluid out employees. Hold on, Tio. Yep. Should we do it where I close my eyes, I pull it out, and you tell me if it's good or bad before oh, I look? Yeah. <laughs> okay, hold on. So let me. I'm not looking. I feel there's like things wrapped. Wow. Oh, let me. Let me this is wrapped. I'm not looking. Why? Okay, you unwrap. What is that? Is it paint? Yeah, it's uh, paint. Okay, we're gonna. They're really wrapped nicely. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Eyes closed. I'm gonna show them to the guys. Okay, can you open them up and hand me one? Okay. Wait, I'm I not looking. Mom, there's what? There's okay, just start with what I gave you. There's some more. There's some more. I see. Oh, there's piggies. While he's doing that, you unwrap that. I'm gonna show you the new piggy colors that I got. So we have, piggy. which I just used in my video the other day, the new Prenite. Prenheit, it is gorge. Okay, let me just Love say it. something about Prenheit. Yeah. It's one of my favorite colors. It's a new release. Uh -huh. Prenheit is just beautiful. So beautiful. Okay, the next we have, and I haven't used these two yet. Hold on, don't show me yet, Mom. Okay. I haven't used these two yet. I have uh, actually a color combo in mind. This is honeycomb, so this will be probably in my video after this one. We will, or maybe I'll use it in this video, who knows, yep. depending on what colors Lanny gave me. Honeycomb, isn't that pretty? And finally, waterfall. Oh, that is a sweet color. You like it? So I haven't used this one either. That so that's, so now, hand me a paint and tell me, do I uh, do I like this color or I don't oh, like the color? Oh, you're gonna love this color? Okay, you show it to the camera. Oh, hold it up I'll to the camera. To the camera. Okay, I'm gonna love this color. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Okay, ready? Give it. Oh, perfect. In them three blue, by the way, Thought it would go nice with a little waterfall. Okay, okay um, so next. far so good, Lanny. Okay, next. Yes, do you, I like? You are not gonna like this one. I'm not gonna like it. Okay. Oh, I'll just show the guy's horse. Okay. She's not this kind of open. Let's see. Oh, I am. Well, indigo is gorgeous. Oh, indigo. No, indigo. We love indigo. I'm very excited. Oh, good. No. Okay. Oh, next. Okay. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love this one. Oh, these are not. First of all, these are not outside my comfort zone so far. Uh, we have permanent blue violet, which is one of my favorite. By the way, <clears throat> these are expert series, so they are a little thicker yeah, and yes, so. um, very highly pigmented. Okay. Okay. You're next. Gonna love, you're gonna like this one. Okay. Well, I, so far I like them all. I thought she was gonna give me like puke green or something. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Cadmium yellow light. Okay. Listen. I don't. I wouldn't often use such a yellow. So, okay, we are pushing the envelope a little bit on this one. Um, eyes closed, please. Eyes closed, please. Okay. I'm doing... Eyes closed, yeah. I have to still unwrap this. Oh, he's Guys, unwrapping. Oh. this is gonna... She's gonna love this pack. Oh, I do I love it? Yeah, I do. I have... Okay, oh, this packaging... Okay, do you need help? If you're watching this video... The Ooh, battle packaging! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, mom, you're gonna love this one. Okay. This is a good force one. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna love it. Ooh, turquoise blue, always a winner. Thanks, Lanny. Okay, next. This one. I'm definitely gonna have to come use. Come see, come sir. Come see, come sir. French means kind of, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Okay. Um, pearl red. Do you know? Yeah, it is kind of, kind of, because I would never what? use white. Well, it's actually not white. So this is an iridescent color. Oh, okay. uh, not iridescent, interference. So it looks white, but it actually shows up red, which you can't see in this light. Oh, but okay, you're gonna, red. You're gonna love this one. I'm gonna love it, okay. It's actually what, it's okay, actually it. what you just said. Ooh, nice copper. Do you know what? We can use this for a cell activator. Um, these metallic cell activators, I don't think I've used this copper as a cell activator. 
Ooh, should we do that? Do you know what'll look really cool? Is that it? Oh, that's it, yeah. So first of all, the only color that makes me nervous-ish is this yellow. I thought she was gonna send me like horrible colors. These are actually really great. Look, okay, thanks, I'm starting Lanny. to- Thanks, Lanny. Okay, thanks, Lanny. Thanks, start... Lanny, and no thanks, Lanny. Okay, I'm starting to get inspired. Starting. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm starting to get inspired. I'm starting to get inspired. I'm telling Mo to stop doing that. Um, we're gonna mix this up as a style activator. We're gonna use this, okay? Are we feeling Southwest? I don't know. Are we gonna use a new, a new color that we haven't used before? I'm nervous about that. Let's see. Okay. 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 So let's just take this out for a minute. And I'm liking this bold, this bold palette. Okay, Mo, what do you think of these two colors together? Oh, they actually look amazing. Okay. Is it with this? And that wouldn't, that doesn't, that makes sense. Good. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I'll think about that one. Of course, purple always goes nicely. I think we're going to do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're mixing these up with other things. I'm going to like figure it out. But so far, that was the unboxing. Thanks, Thank Lanny. That was really inspiring. Be right back. Okay, I've been down here way too long mixing up colors. I've been having a lot of fun. This is the final product, except I decided I'm going to nix the indigo. I don't think it goes. Uh, hold on, I just I don't want to ruin this. I don't think it goes. It kind of throws it off. You know what I mean? Kind of looks like a sports team color, which we're not into. I'm obsessed with this honeycomb color, though. It's like so gorgeous. So you'll see here my interference I decided on was twinkle, <clears throat> violet interference, right? Okay. I think that these two will pop together. Good. Um. This is a custom purple that I made a long time ago. You know, my smoky perps. Um, I believe it's just diox purple with a bit of bone black mixed in. And then I have Ag TLP Agapanthus and you can't see it anymore, but I mixed, this is an old custom purple that I mixed, I'll put it on, um, which is pr uh, the, probably the diox purple with uh, white, zinc white. Here. So this is gonna be the color combo without the blue, right? Are we in agreement? I wish we could just like forget about it. Bloop, doesn't exist, right? Bloop. I know it's very cool colors actually in comparison um, to the, is it too cool for school? Nah, I think we'll make it pop, right? I mean, that's, I'm gonna wipe off that blue because I think it's throwing me off. Hold on. Bloop to you. And no thank you. Okay, here we go. Watch this. Okay, it's like it never happened. Okay. Hold on, we're still, we've got some blue visual. Blue visuals happening. I'm removing the blue vis. Okay. Ha, huh, much better. Okay, right? Do we like what we're looking at here? I know I keep moving around because I just don't want it to drip everywhere. Um, right? Is the turquoise throwing us off? Is it? No, it can't be. Then it would be just so boring, just like purple with, with this gorgeous yellow, right? Hold on, now a sec. Okay, new tile, one second. Because we have to make sure. I mean, the purples with that are really nice. Uh, I'm gonna get a new tile and we will come. Oh, here, I this tile here. This was the tile that I did in my last video where I used the, I'm just peeling it off. I used the, um, this tool, the piping tool, by the way, I, you know what, why don't I show you how I tried? I, it actually flattened out a bit. Don't paint on me, no. Um, it actually flattened out a bit, which I like even better. I'll show you in a minute. But let's do this. Um, just ignore that. 
Let's do this without the turquoise. Okay. Okay, so I have that. We have a lot, then I would need another color to paint because this is quite a bit of piggies. You know what I mean? Quite the sparkle indeed. All right. I can wear that. Uh, listen, it's pretty. You know what I mean? It is pretty. So here's the comparison. Oh, she's gonna fall. With the Turks. Turquoise, definitely in your face, like, you know, she's definitely more uh, like a lady. You know what I mean? All right, I think we're gonna go for her. But there's something like, if you're doing something crazy, the combination, I love the look when I'm looking at it like this. Like, I love this. This is like in your face, really bright, like kind of tropical, but like, I don't think that's her vibe today. You know what, actually, well, I'll just do one of each, right? Cause they're, they both have like their different, different place. So that's what I'll do. Do you see it, like how stressed I get about these colors? Because I really want to showcase how amazing, so pretty, how amazing this color is. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We'll do one of each um, tomorrow, cause it's actually bedtime. <laughs> I've been down here so long. Um, oh, let me show you how it dried. One moment. So this is from my last video using the piping tool. So you can see it's pretty, it flattened out a bit. It's cute, like a little cute stencil. Boopity boop, flat, right? I'll show you the other one. So that was more like my full stencil look. And this one is more of like uh, a, a drawing. You know what I mean? So still, yeah, flatten out a bit. So it's a little bit raised, which I kind of like the texture. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, cool. <sighs> See you tomorrow for me when I paint. Bye. Okay, guys, it's actually been two days because yesterday I had a big thing of resin to do and I wanted to show you before they're sold because a lot of these pieces, actually probably all of these pieces I did on the video, uh, I posted them today for sale, but you didn't see this one. This is an old one of my spray painting and I think I did all cell activator bloom and it was cool, but I felt like I could make it even cooler. So I hand painted um, this flower, which I think, I know it's not for everybody, but I don't know, I kind of like it. This one was part of my, this is like going down memory lane. Um, I think this is from my Violet Rain video and I found this old sticker, so I popped it right on top. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, this, is this from my Dutch, this could be from my Dutch pour videos. What I ended up doing, the gold around the edges, I actually hand painted after to give it a little more flair. I think it's so cool. I don't know if I videoed this one, but it's another what I was playing with just like American Floetrol and paint. I don't know, kind of cool. This one is my wave, which I also really like. Um, oh, this was from the video the other day. I put another coat of resin on top, so it doesn't even really stick up at all. Um, kind of cool if you like that stencil look. This one I also love. <laughs> They're a little still stuck. Sorry, not professional of me. Um, there we go. This was, hmm. Oh, this is from the Prenite video. Really pretty, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, I love this one too. I don't remember what I was doing with this one. Uh, or what video this is from. But she's green and she's pretty. This was also from the Violet Rain video. Ooh, right? Really pretty. Okay, how fun is this? This was from the piping, so you can see, I don't need to lift her up. 
Um, but you can see what the final piping looks like. This one was the um, silver spray paint. I love, I don't remember what did it, what purple did I use? It's so pretty. So here's that one. Here's a green one, which I don't remember doing, um, but really pretty. Ugh, I have to do, see that? I have to do a second coat of resin. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I do know what happened there because it happened on here too. This is my neon that I did. I have to redo. Something fell in there as it was drying and I didn't see. Uh, but anyways, all I have to do is re-sand. I mean, sand and then re resin but that's it okay let's get to painting okay i have changed some things around because i decided today i wanted <coughs> excuse me a pearl background for fun i haven't used this in a while this is a canadian one you can really use any kind this is from Desairs, which is our canadian art store like the fancy one this is called dacryl metallic and the color is zircon now honestly any pearl color would be fine even to be honest that it's very similar to tlp whitehaven kind of like a very beachy pearly color so you definitely can use that or anything i just wanted something easy peasy secondly i have switched out i think the teal <clears throat> with cobalt turquoise i know it doesn't look that different but I just think it's more, since it's a little deeper, it might flow with the colors better. But then again, I don't know. Number three or four, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I have this 10 inch square and I don't know, like, I guess since I am doing a pearl background, I will have negative space. Should I just do like a little bloom? side bloom with negative space just to test out the colors because we don't know even if like the way I'm layering the colors is gonna look pretty basically we don't know what we're doing um oh I do want to stir my uh pillow paint for a moment so there you have it by the way if any of those pieces interest you you can email me at art at lisamarm.com you can message me on my Facebook or, <coughs> excuse me, Instagram, um, Lisa Marvin Art. You can join my Patreon and get a discount from my art. Many options. Or you can just hang out with me while I paint. Anything works. Okay, oh, you little sneak. So this is my Glidden Essentials eggshell. <coughs> Sorry, I still have you know, my little situation. Um, this has been open, so I decanted the can. I don't know why I'm pouring so slow. I guess I'm just, oh, see, I'm nervous about bloops, and that's why. Um, I decanted it for two days in these cups, and then I covered it. So this is the consistency that happens. I do not use it right out of the can for blooms, for me, it is quite too thin. Um, swipes are more forgiving with thinner paints, but not our little bloomies. Okay, there. I just really did that very slow and carefully. <laughs> that should be good though. Because also I don't want, um, I don't want to have to spin it too much. Let's see how I did. Yeah, should be good. Um, cause I don't want to have to stretch it out too much. You know what I mean? Although uh, it does feel like a little, well, it's fine. Cause I'm going to put this down first and then kind of stretch it out a bit more. Let's try and get the boobas out because I did just mix this cause I just had the idea. So I'm probably going to use this whole thing. So let's hope that this idea works, if you know what I mean. Or else we're just wasting paint, as we do sometimes. I'm going to try to kind of do it this way. You know? All right, that should be good. Good. 
All right. <sighs> my nose is really runny today, but it could be because I didn't take my reactant because apparently in my old age, I'm allergic to everything, even in the winter time. I used to just have to take reactant for spring, but now it's like all the time. What am I allergic to in the winter, you know? Why am I so sensitive? Like, get over it. <laughs> okay. Um, also, I have constant germs because Mo's in school, but I will tell you, my son is such a good boy. Uh, oh, I don't want to get into any mask wearing debates. Uh, but anyways, so Mo wears a mask at school. He's just fine when he's outside. Obviously playing, he does not wear masks. But especially after we were, he's been sick. He was off for school basically for a month already because he had that flu, the RSV for two weeks. Then we got better and then I got sick with the RSV for two weeks. And then he got it again after two weeks. So, and when he gets sick, I get sick and vice versa because he spits in my mouth. <laughs> uh, anyways, long story short, we don't want to get sick anymore. Especially because my mom comes to stay with us sometimes. Okay, let's do A, side. Get those boobles out. We'll do a bit of a side bloom. Yeah, see, I, it's always, I didn't need to put that much, but I like to be, you know, um, better safe than sorry, if you know what I mean. Okay, oops, we're gonna try not to be messy. Okay, I'm putting a lot because I want her, even though she's at the bottom, I want her to be the star of the show, okay? Um, and then we will do a bit of the cobalt, oops, Ugh, turquoise already. That's fine, Lisa. <laughs> oh, I didn't discuss. So I have both cell activator white and Payne's gray. Originally I was gonna do Payne's gray, but maybe I wanna keep this very light, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's Agapanthus, so pretty. Are these colors a bit intense? They could be. I don't know, we'll see. I never know, to, the, the second I blow it out, sometimes I see the colors come together. I'm like, oh yeah, that's what we're talking about. All right, this is my custom dark purple. See, so yeah, I'm making the bloom too big already. I'm not gonna have much negative space, I can see, because I got overzealous with my honeycomb. Okay, here is the, uh, this twinkle? Whatever I said it was in the beginning. I think it's twinkle, hold on. Twinkle, correct. I love twinkle. The shift that it gives from <clears throat> like violet to blue. All right. And here's my custom light purple. I think I am gonna go white. I don't know, crazy. I don't usually do white over light on top. I mean, or I can do double, but oh, what to do? Let's see. Why don't I do double? Okay, so I'm gonna do double, meaning I'm gonna do white first and then Payne's Gray, okay? White, my Payne's Gray might be a little too thickety. We'll see. Just a bit, okay? Here we go. Cool, maybe. A lot of greens came out from that uh, The turquoise and the yellow together. Ooh, oh God, that agapanthus. Ooh, it grabs you, you know? All right, do I like what's happening though? I mean, there's some, there is some cool stuff, definitely. The colors are pretty cool. Um, I just don't know what I'm looking at yet. You know what I mean? Like, is it boring, you know? 
Okay, I'm just tilting it back a little bit this way. Um, like, I don't know what to do, if anything. Oh, so nerve wracking, because there's some cool, there's some cool stuff. Do you know, hmm. I think to make it pop, I'll do something fun. Hold on, let me just get her this way a bit. And then this way a bit. Okay, because I do want to showcase more of that honeycomb. I wonder, what if I, you know, it'd be cool. Oh, remember that piping thing? I didn't clean it out yet though, but what if I piped some honeycomb, although this is too thin to do that, but do you know what I mean? What if I like piped some honeycomb around there? Um, <laughs> hold your horses here. Okay, I'm just playing around now. Um, <clears throat> definitely, it would have a different look if I didn't add that um, turquoise. Okay. You know, but we're just playing around now and I, I will do another one without the turquoise to show you the difference. But I'm just like, I don't know, having fun for a second, right? Yeah, I'm gonna continue doing this, whatever this is I'm doing. Because we're just like wild. I can do like two layers if I want. Like I can go like this. I'm keep going. And then I can go like this, right? Okay, we're not even done yet. And then go like this. And you know what else I'm gonna do for fun? Try it out. We're gonna do a second layer right here. Oops. You know? Should fix that a bit because I was a little too. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Okay, then we'll go out here. You know, kind of like we're sketching. Okay. Sketching a flower. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. It's pretty. If I have a good idea or not. I should possibly do, so you don't want to do too much, but like just a little bit on the inside, you know? Okay. Maybe I'll go on the inside with this. I'm gonna do this all day. This is really fun. Okay, hold on. Huh. Okay. Mm. Right. There's definitely a better tool to do this for better control somewhere, which, you know, uh, like a piping thing, squeeze bottle. But for now, we're just, I'm having fun with it because I don't even know if it's going to work when I spin it, you know? Okay. Whatever. Let's see. Oh, there's a little boob way that I can't pick. Okay. <laughs> Let us, I mean, the colors are cool. Uh, I do have to do one more that's bothering me. Hold on. Just right here. Not even. Okay. I think so. We'll see. Okay. There we go.
kind of cool. You know? So there's that part there that's bothering me. And again, like, it's like quirky, you know what I mean? Definitely, um, I'm gonna play with this more. We'll do something else. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Oh yeah, I was gonna pop that booble. Right there, it's bugging me, okay. How much more paint have we got? Yeah, we got a good spin. And again, like some people like the stencil look where it's all outline, and some people like a more uh, realistic look. Kind of depends what you're into. So yeah, right now it's looking weird as it spins out. So we're gonna do something about that. But let's just finish spinning anyways, cause it kind of like overtook. Cause I didn't realize how much this was gonna spin out, right? I think one of the tips, which I, I've already known from previous things, is to wait really until it's fully spun out because this will um, expand. <clears throat> These piggies, when you just lay them on a pillow paint, they do kind of get thicker. Okay, I don't like anything that's happening. Um, so we're gonna change a few things. There's a few cool things, obviously. I wouldn't have liked this bloom anyways, to be honest, spun out. I liked it before it was spun out. Okay, let's do something fun. How much more paint have we got here? Like, there's certain things about the color is cool. Um, the lines made it not cool anymore as they spun out. Uh, what do I like <clears throat> and don't like? Um, for me, it's, I think the purple, when it stretches, gets a bit muddy. I think what I'm going to do is use a plain black, a bone black, which I love to use. Okay, that's number one. Number two... There's certain parts of the turquoise that I think are cool. Um, and then there's certain parts that I don't think are cool. So it's kind of hard to say. Um, this is gonna be such a long video, but that's okay. However, the agapanthus with the honeycomb is cool. So, yeah, we're gonna switch her up. I'm still not, like I'm sold on some parts of the turquoise but not all the parts. So I'm gonna take out the turquoise, mix up a black, um, and do something again. Obviously, um, the pearl's gotta go, because I don't have enough of it, and... Okay, guys, I sped up this yeah. little part because okay. this video right was so back. long. I did black. mix up the black, and then I did this bloom, and I added this um, green. But don't worry, I didn't end up liking it. And the reason I'm fast-forwarding it is because when I blew this bloom out, um, I didn't blow it out nicely, and it looked really weird. And I ended up, I think I blew too hard because what I discovered later was my agapanthus was very thick and I didn't realize it for some reason. So it really kind of screwed up my whole blow. You see all that pillow that came up. So I didn't want to waste your time looking at this ugly bloom. But now let's get back to the program. Okay, so obviously, so what I can tell you what I did wrong was I blew too hard here and here, so the pillow came up. But why did I blow too hard? I had enough layers. Number two, I'm going to leave out that green. Um, I'm not really sure why this looks so strange. It could be because I blew too hard. I'm going to imagine that that's why I did it. Um, but like... Poor, these poor piggies, like I'm like butchering them today. So do you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm not gonna like ruin, like spin off this whole thing. We have a lot of pillow we don't need to waste. Because I blew in the middle, I am gonna just put a bit more to have 
like a pillow, a cushion for when I re-blow, okay? And we're gonna layer again and like see what in the world is going on here. You know what I mean? So I am gonna, again, <laughs> start with the poor honeycomb that I'm just like killing. It's such a pretty color. And I'm just like murdering it. Um, and then like, maybe I will go with the dark purple. Okay. Then maybe I will do the twinkle. We are gonna get a bloom today, guys. I'm not giving up. If we have to stay here all day, then I will do a bit of the bone black. Okay. Then I will do agapanthus. Like, how can I mess up these gorgeous colors? You know what I mean? This is like user error here. Okay. And maybe because I was blowing too hard, just because I couldn't, um, hold on, is my paint's gray too? Mm, like my paint's gray is a little, one, two, three, four. My paint's gray is a little thick and maybe that's why I'm blowing too hard because I'm not seeing, okay. I am gonna thin my paint's gray a bit. And we are gonna get this sucker. You know what I mean? Okay. You know how stubborn I am? <laughs> okay, let's see. I put a little bit of more flow, um, Aussie flow, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Like, maybe it's just, okay, stop talking. Let's just do this. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Do white. I'll do a bit of the paint's gray and not blow so hard, you know? It's probably still a little too thick, to be honest. Okay, I blew lighter. <clears throat> yeah, better. This is cool here. Um, okay, I don't hate it as much, at least. Um, let's spit her out, right? And it's kind of cool because if when you do that, you get like if there's any of that old background left, it looks kind of like a layered bloom, you know. Yeah, pretty, except we're not really showcasing uh, as much of the um, honeycomb as I wanted, but at least it's not like horrendous. You know, definitely, no, it's definitely cool. I like, I like what I'm seeing. I like what I'm seeing. Yeah. Middle is cool. I'm gonna keep spinning. Okay, so I know this video has probably been like an hour. Um, maybe I'll do like a quick flip cup with that turquoise that I wanted to make like a watercolor look. Um, and I'm gonna show you the close up of this. The colors are really cool. So let's do like a fun stretched out flip cup with them too. Okay, you guys have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah, really cool colors. Okay, uh, let me do a close up and then we'll do something else fun. Be right back.
Okay, I think I'm gonna pour over this anyways, even though I like the colors, whatever. Like, at this point I ask myself, would someone buy this or would I buy this? The answer is no, even though it's still really cool, but we don't have canvases to waste, you know what I mean? So what I'm gonna just do is I'm not even gonna do a, should I do a, I'm not even gonna do a flip. I guess I can do a flip cup or I was just gonna do like a whatever. Cause remember, I just really want those stretched out um, colors and I'll just put my cell activator in anyways. Okay, so we're going good coat of cell activator. <clears throat> um, what's on top? Hmm. I guess we can start with, you know, some of that. And why not, since she's going to be the star of the show, we're going to keep her a little bit separate from the turquoise. Some of that, right? Um, and then why don't I do some of that perps? You know what I mean, perps. Okay. Um, I can do some agapanthus. You know? Um, maybe that was my problem. My agapanthus was a bit thick um, when I was blowing it out. Okay. Now we do the turquoise. Right? I'll do more white oops cell activator um why don't i do more a bit more of this guy okay why don't i do a bit more perps why don't i do a bit more twinkle Um, and why don't I finish it off with a bit of turquoise and white cell activator. I think I will just flip it over at this point. I hope it's not ugly. It might be ugly, but I just, oh, you know what I forgot? Mm, I'll do that. After. Okay. Um, I just really loved that look. I love the watercolor look. You know what I mean? Like, sue me. Can't help it. It's not like flashy. It's not like cell poppy, bloomy. You know what I mean? But that's really what I love. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> this isn't the ideal way to do it, but I'm gonna flip it and then around, I'm gonna put um, the rest of the uh, pearl that I have. Yeah, definitely not ideal. Don't do it this way. You know, I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit here. Just so you know. Okay. You ready? Oh, Lord. Uh, why do I always do these, like, crazy situations, you know? Ooh, okay. Um... So while it's doing that and just relaxing for a second around the outside here, for fun, because I have this left over anyways, you know, I'll just do this. Who cares? Not me. Well, it's just be the ugliest thing you've ever seen in your life. Okay, are you ready? Nervous. Oh, gosh. Well, what in the crikey happened? Oh, Lord. Don't worry. Do not panic. Okay, there's some boobles. Let's stretch it out. Bubbles and cells will start to appear. But there's just absolutely no color. There's all cell activator. Don't worry, I'm not panicked yet, because I'm gonna fix this if it's the last thing I do. I told you, I have all day. Well, I don't really, but you know. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> what do I get myself into? 
don't know. Okay, we're stretching her out. Don't worry. I know I can feel the panicked, the panicked people. I know there's air bubbles. I'm not popping them yet. I'm gonna pop them after. Okay. So now, let's go. We have this. Okay. It's very subdued. Now I'm gonna pop that bubble. All right. Very subdued. Okay. Oh gosh. It's very crystal effects. Definitely no um, <laughs> intense color, you know? Okay, we're gonna wait a second. Okay, so we have this like marble, right? Like, it's cool, but it's not doing anything yet. Let me change my gloves while we're thinking because they're very messy. Hmm. You know, I don't hate what's happening here. I really don't. Um, like, it is very crystal. So I like this half, okay? So this is the half that is kind of boring. You know? Okay. So, if that half is born, right? And, like, there's more things popping up as we wait. Like, I almost don't want to touch it too much. Like, there's some really cool parts. Uh, like, what if I just, am I going to use this one? Okay. And like, what's my goal? Like, definitely, um, right now, if I add honeycomb, it's very bright. I don't know if I want to do that. Definitely, like, some agapanthus and twinkle would look really cool. Um, you know what I mean? I don't know, let's give it a go at this point, who cares? There's some pretty things happening. So I'm just taking my cell activator, okay? And I'm just putting it at the back of my knife and I'm going to really, um, yeah, so I'm gonna drizzle just a bit of that purple, and then I'm gonna go a bit of agapanthus, a bit of twinkle. I don't know, right? Okay. Cause, so this is the only part that's kind of boring me at this point. So. I wanna make it kind of look natural if I can, okay. Yeah, okay. Because remember, I am gonna spin it <clears throat> one more time. And get some bubbles out. Okay. I might have to fast forward the whole first bloom part because this is really gonna be an hour. Okay, I'm just popping some bubbles. There's some really cool things coming up. When you do a flip cup like this, because there's so many air bubbles and there's cell activator that really, if you don't blow on it, develops over a long period of time. Um, it would be cool to have like a focal point right here. Should I bring back my, am I crazy? If I bring back a bit of the um, honeycomb just to like outline, let's see how much paint I have. 
to spin off before I go crazy. Okay, we do have a bit of paint to spin. All right, I'm gonna bring back my drawing of, and it has thickened up a bit. My drawing, just a little bit, of honeycomb. You know? Okay, very subtle, like I'm not gonna go crazy with it. It's kind of cool. And then why don't I draw some like agapanthus here? You know what I mean? Okay. That might be too thick, hold on. Yeah, she's not even drooping anymore. I think that was part of my problem with when I was trying to blow out the blooms and I couldn't figure out because I didn't notice when I put it down that it was too thick. So that's what happens, even if one thing is kind of off kilter, it can really mess up your flow. Okay. You know, we're making like a natural, natural stuff. I don't know, I think this is kind of cool. Um, <clears throat> Like, if I had a, like, blue piggy mixed up, I might do like there. Or like a turquoise -y. I don't know if I would, well, maybe I would. Let's see how it, how it'll look. Hold on. I just want to see, like, a little bit. Hold on. I don't want to put too much. You know? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Am I, am I nuts? Okay. I'm going to spin it. I'm not even going to play around with it too much. Okay. I'm going to do a close up. Tell me, I, what do you guys think of my <clears throat> drawing? Basically it's kind of like drawing. I know you're going to think I'm nuts, but I don't know. I kind of like making these like crystal formations. Um, I think they're kind of fun. Drawing with wet paint. Okay, I'm gonna do the close up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this was a little, <clears throat> excuse me. I know this was a long one, kind of cool, really different. You know, I like to just push the envelope a little bit. Um, let me know what you think of this like wet drawing with paint. Bye.